Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Liberty Loft Lessons. This will be episode number 46. The song I'm going to be teaching you guys today is the song from the intro, and that's called Corduroy by Ocean Alley. This is another requested song, so big shout out to Jordan Tawe for requesting this almost exactly a week ago. And when I got this request on the Don't Keep Me Waiting video, I thought it was kind of funny because in that video, I was wearing my only corduroy hat. So just that itself, I thought was kind of weird. So just like the rest of the Ocean Alley tutorials, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the guitar parts and just one guitar part. We're gonna start off with Baden's intro lick and we're gonna go to the solo. After that, I'm gonna show you guys the chords for the verse. And after that, I'm gonna show you guys the outro, which has a little climb up. So I'm gonna show you that climb up and the riff that ends the song. Again, this is a really underrated Ocean Alley song. So I'm really excited to show you guys how to play it. Without further ado, let's go on and get to the lesson. Let's start by talking about that tone, right? So I'm playing through my reverb amp and I've got the reverb all the way down for right now because I'm gonna be using my pedal board. So this is what it'll sound like without any effects, right? All right, so the first effect I'm gonna use is reverb off my pedal board, not my amp. And I'm gonna use a hall reverb. That's what I use for the intro cover. And that's what I'm using right now. So with the hall reverb, it sounds like this. And the second pedal I'm gonna use is this delay pedal. And that's really important for this song. You could probably just do like an eighth note delay or if your pedal is like mine, uh, I've got like a medium to low rate and medium high depth on mine and just like a medium resonance. So that's gonna sound like this. The third pedal I wanna use is a drive pedal or you can use an overdrive if you want, but something with a little crunch. And that's gonna sound like this. Those are the three main pedals I'm gonna use for the entire song. All right, so let's learn that really cool intro look that Baden plays, right? And it's gonna sound like this. Right, so pretty simple. We're gonna start with the open E string here. Plug it once and then once again, and then quickly go to the seventh fret of the B string with your middle finger there. I like to use my middle finger, you can use whatever. So, then we're gonna hit the E string again and quickly play this lick right here. So, that's gonna be E string, fifth fret with my index finger, then B string, eight, seven, open. Then we're gonna come down here and fret the third fret of the E string, that G note, with your thumb. That's what Baden does at least. And then I'm gonna hit the third fret of the B string and pull off to open, like that. All right, next one, I'm gonna hit the third fret of the E string again and slide up to seven and pull off seven to open on the B string, just like we did three to open up top. So that part, all together again. All right, and then the second part is a little bit different. We're gonna start it the same way. But we're gonna do this look right here. And all that is, is with your ring finger, you're gonna hit the 10th fret of the B string. Slide up to 12, slide back down to 10 and then pull off to open. So, and we'll just repeat what we did before. So that's the whole intro. So Baden's gonna play that over and over until the drums and the other guitar comes in. And the other guitar is just gonna be playing an E minor chord over top of what Baden's playing. And you'll see I kind of mix that in with the intro, right? So it's like, and then Baden's playing the So uh, the next part will be the solo, right? And that's gonna sound like this. So let's go on and learn the solo. 
All right, so let's go on and learn that solo, right? So this is gonna be very similar to the Lemon World solo if you guys saw that video. And I'm just gonna play this thing really slowly for you guys with the tabs so you guys can see it. That way I don't have to call out all the individual notes and you guys can probably learn it faster that way. So again, You can vibrato that last note right there. All right, that's the first phrase. The second phrase, I'm gonna teach you the live version that he plays. It's gonna go like this. So I'm barring the 12th fret right there with my index. And then. All right, so I'm just gonna end on a 15th fret bend up to 17 on the B string there. So that phrase one more time. Cool, and then we're right into the verse, right? And Baden's already playing the E minor chord to start the verse. So let's go on and learn the chords for the verse. All right, so now we're into the verse, right? And I'm actually gonna switch off my drive pedal for this one, just because we're playing chords. The first chord is gonna be an E minor chord. And Baden will play that right when he's singing, and we'll hold that for a while. And then we're gonna go to this G major chord. And then up to this B minor seven. So those are the three chords for the entire song, right? And you can just play them one time each, so. Right, and or you can jam it out however you wanna do it, right? And so Baden's gonna play those chords four times each for the verse, and after the last B minor. So we gotta come down. He's gonna come up here and play this little E minor triad down here. So I'm borrowing the bottom three strings of the 12th fret. And he'll go. And then that's when Angus goes back into the solo, right? And he'll play it again. Then he'll play the second part of the solo, right? And we're into the second verse. After the second verse, he's gonna play just the first part of the solo, right? Right, he'll just play that part of the solo. So then we're onto that little climb, right? And that goes. Right, so let's go on and learn that little climb. All right, so let's go on and learn that climb, right? And I think it's kind of funny actually because like the lyrics are talking about coming back down, but then we have this climb up the neck. So I don't know if there's any coincidence there, but who knows? It sounds really, really cool though. It's gonna start on this E minor and I'm gonna play these as power chords. It'll be zero, two, three, five. And then we're gonna repeat five, right? For the second phrase, five, seven, eight, 10. And then I'm gonna reach back here and grab seventh fret of the A string. And we'll play this. With the tab. Cool, so slowly with the tabs, right? Hopefully you guys got that. And up to speed, it's And then to end this song, we'll go. Back home to E minor. So again, that descent there is just seven, five, three, E minor power chord. Cool. So that's how you play the song.
I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I want to remind you guys to please drop a like so that YouTube will show this video to more people and more people can get introduced to Ocean Alley and the song. If you haven't already, I want to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I've got some really great videos coming up in the very near future, which you're not going to want to miss. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. And until next time, my name is Charlie with Liberty Law Lessons, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.